Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. There's a second part to this video. Uh, it is again around Mother's Day, May 2024. I just did a video. I hope my hopefully my SEO guy uh, will link these two together for me. I would appreciate that for the customers or just the viewers. Uh, if you don't, if you're not with us, just go ahead and subscribe to us and share and like that. We appreciate that. Um, this is going to be a follow-up video because it never seems like people show you the second side of that video. Um, this is what you're supposed to expect. So what I did do in that last video, it did work. Again, I had an issue with a furnace just to refresh you. It's a 2012 and I did mess that up. My wife said it's a toy hauler, um, but it's a voltage. So it's, it's 12 years, almost 15, 13 years old, actually. Um, we got it used, so it's got the fifth wheel on it, and then it's got the garage in the back here, okay? So anyways, this is what was going on, and look at that, that's some good smoke. That's really a good thing. Looks like I'm burning off some of that junk. The last video I showed you guys had all of this wasp nest down here on the ground. I took all of that stuff out, okay, and that was full all the way through the vent. And then I did the igniter back in here. Once I took this screw out, this wing nut pulled out the vent, I was able to get my long screw bit and extend it here and get that flame sensor glow igniter out. It's a two in one. But see, yeah, here's your reset button. Red light there, fans turning on. Takes a few seconds. You can feel a little bit of CO emissions. It doesn't smell good whatsoever. And then you heard it. And now the flame, it's hot. If you come out and this is cool, like you can touch it and it's been running, that's not good. This is hot, so hot right here. Any closer, it starts to hurt my hand. So this is how I know that my propane is actually burning correctly. Again, that's gotta be hot. If it's warm or cool, you're not burning anything inside of that RV. And you're not burning it, you're not gonna at all. It's turning off. So we're finally getting heat coming through that vent don't forget to make sure you have propane in your tank and your regulators are on but also that your heat is drawn upward on that thermostat okay and then yeah you got to check your tanks too so we're getting heat throughout the rv now and all is just simply cleaning with a piece of fine sandpaper and getting out that wasp nest and that one sounds like it's getting empty. The other one is full. If you have a dual regulator for your propane, some people like to have it as a backup. That one's a lot more full, okay? You can hear it. So the reason why they do that is then they can conserve for a long trip. Those two tanks in there, um, I wish I remembered how big they were, but well, there they are uh 32 liter <clears throat> those things both of those could last us in the cold two weeks and we would be heating hot water furnace and cooking food um so yeah but again those regulators like i said in my last video in the winter turn these off disconnect these okay they're gonna be lefty tighty righty loosey it's kind of opposite right in here and then these guys if you want you just have to label which is which and we took at the time and said oh this is the driver's side this is our passenger uh meaning when you're pulling the rv the passenger was the side you walk into the rv okay the other side you don't so you might want to label that so you know which tank you're using up first if you don't put them both if you're having an issue with pressure as they're getting low you can put them on both and it'll help you have your refrigerator stay on. 
All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good one.